Hello everyone, today we're talking about the Overdriver 16. You'll find out what the new assault weapon can do, and whether it's worth buying after the intro. The Overdriver is the latest assault weapon. This type of weapon has been suffering from immense performance issues for a long time. The Overdriver is Plarium's attempt to establish an assault weapon that is meta-capable. Whether Plarium has succeeded, you'll find out at the end of the video. Let's first look at the technical details of the weapon. The Overdriver deals between 23,846 and 144,692 damage points per magazine. The magazine capacity is 52 shots, and the reload time is 5 seconds. This is a bit misleading since the Overdriver technically doesn't have a magazine capacity. In theory, you can continuously fire with the Overdriver. However, that would be a bit overpowered, so the weapon overheats if you fire it for too long without a break. Similar to the particle beam, the counter that usually shows the remaining shots in the magazine counts from 0 to 100. Once you reach 100, the weapon overheats and you have to let it cool down for 5 seconds before you can fire again. There are two different implants for this inconvenience. The Overdriver Overload Implant, which reduces the rate at which the Overdriver overheats, and the Overdriver Cooldown Implant, which reduces the rate at which the Overdriver cools down. Strictly speaking, you could also call it a reload implant. The ideal range of the weapon is between 0 and 80 meters, with a maximum range of 110 meters. Moreover, the overdriver benefits from a high projectile speed and a firing rate of 600 rounds per minute. The weapon's advantage is called hot shot. The longer the weapon fires, the more damage it deals. Unfortunately, there are no specific details about the exact increase in damage in the value growth. Let's come to the conclusion. Unfortunately, Plarium has once again failed to bring an endgame capable assault weapon to the market. The Overdriver is not bad, but it falls behind other weapons like the Stormrack or Savant. If you occasionally spend money on the game, and your hangar is between 3,000 and 6,000 points, I can definitely recommend buying the weapon. However, for players in the endgame, I advise against purchasing it. There are simply much better options available. But what do you think about the Overdriver? Let me know in the comments. See you in another video, and until then, take care.